It's Tajay Spears next to Tannehill. First pass of the season for Ryan Tannehill in his fifth year with the Titans. It's knocked away from the tight end, Jigo Conquo. Ross, you alluded to not. As for how he feels here in New Orleans, I feel re-energized, excited, and rejuvenated. That's called on first down, going immediately to work. A bobble on the sidelines from the veteran Mike Thomas. He hauls it in for a big chunk of 25. We talked about it. This guy has not played a lot. Let's look at him one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. This is where Christian Fulton, he just runs a goal out for Fulton. He's and we're talking throughout the week. A lot of underrated players on each side. Third down. Carr. Pass complete. Thomas. First down, New Orleans. Derek Carr sitting back in the pocket. You talk about this unproven spots on the offensive line. They give him plenty of time. Michael Thomas now working in the slot right there, able to get open on this. Three last year. On first, Carr floats. Another open target. That's Shahid. If we get him in, they'll talk about it. Derek Carr. Watch the slight little pump fake right there to try to move the defense and find Shaheed right in front of safety. Kevin Byer, but we're going to have to take another look at this. That right foot comes down so close to that right sideline. Let's look at the right foot right here. They have officially ruled it a catch. I'm not sure I can remember two officials taking that long. Left foot down, right foot. Ooh, Ooh. that is close season kick the undrafted free agent from Notre Dame 26 yard attempts perfect team straight field first down and Tannehill with an empty set surrounded in the pocket and is brought down and there's Cameron Jordan in his 13th year at a kids out there again yours has been a featured player through the first quarter works in motion Tannehill looks Unleashes it completes. Nick Westbrook Akine was absolutely smothered by Marshawn Lattimore. He was smothered on the outside. Tannehill right there fakes the ball to Tajay Spears. He was trying to go inside right there to DeAndre Hopkins. And Alante Taylor does not allow it to happen. And when he's forced to hold on to the ball, you'll see right here that Saints defense is it? in mind. Well, they're getting the work in the passing game already. Their 10th attempt. Alave makes his first catch and zooms. That's the 30-yard line. He's held on to by Elijah Molden, who makes the tackle for Tennessee. The Saints do a good job of moving Chris Olave around. He's in the backfield a little bit there in the slot while the Titans are playing zone, and it gets him matched up on a linebacker, which makes it a nice, simple throw right over the middle for Derek Carr, and that allows all of that space. Saints rush four. Pocket collapses. Tannehill strength. Rollout floats. High for Akine. It's incomplete. Nick Westbrook Akine was the intended receiver. Alante Taylor was right next to him. And it's fourth down. Watch Andre Dillard again. The left tackle. Now, not a bad initial set. But again, the power. Watch as, the, as Peyton Turner comes in. He just got a little bit of Tannehill's shoulder. So Saints hope, of course, that he can stay on the field this year in an important year. Ryan Stone has in the pass for Tennessee, and it's blocked! Oh, boy, you get chills every time there's a block punt in the Superdome with Steve Gleason in the building. The Saints block it! With Steve Gleason in the building, you said it, Chris. Whenever you get a punt block, we're going to look at the top of the screen right there. You're going to see him come free and the perfect technique of taking the ball right off of Stonehouse's foot, of coming in there and forcing the block punt. Week one, guys, it's always week one where there are special teams issues in the NFL because I agree with Gene. I'm going to agree to disagree with Ron Torbert. So it allows Blake Groupie. But not getting a field goal from 33 to tie this one five. Tannehill off play action. Comes over the middle. Broken up. Parshawn Lattimore and DeAndre Hopkins. That's a fun battle. 
You said it, Chris. That is a fun battle. These are two very good football players. You're going to see Lattimore at the top of your screen with Hopkins one-on-one. -on -one. And you see from both of these guys, it's physical. And you're saying, why isn't the ref calling holding? He might have grabbed Hopkins' hands. For the ref, if you see two guys. Three-man pressure. Tannehill gets rid of it. And it's intercepted. Marshawn Lattimore up against DeAndre Hopkins. That's Lattimore's possession for New Orleans. Trying to make a play. Tannehill looking for his newfound wide receiver. Throws the ball up with multiple Saints defenders in the area. Watch Lattimore climb the ladder and go up top and snag this one out of the air. You don't typically see a battle with DeAndre Hopkins up in the air and he comes down with it. But you're going to see two Saints defenders both right there. Marcus May and Marshawn Lattimore have DeAndre Hopkins absolutely blanketed. Tannehill throws it up into a kind of a... Play clock at one. They do get it off. Knocked down. Looking for the screen to Hopkins. Cameron Jordan, he does everything. One of my favorite players in the NFL right there. Watch Cam Jordan right side of your screen, gets that big hand on it. When people ask me who I respect or who I look up to as NFL players. Before halftime. Oh, slant, Johnson across midfield. Molding holds on to the knees, but that's how you start a drive for New Orleans. One-on-one -on -one for Jawan Johnson, and he's got the route, and he has Hooker one-on-one, -on -one, he's able to just beat him across his face to pick up that first down. On first, Shahid, just shy of the 40-yard line, with the clock continuing to move, one ten and ticket. Really plenty of time for the Saints, but they do only have one timeout. You typically want to save that for right before the field goal. Carr, first great pass to the sideline. That's a catch. Chris Olave. Talked about in the open house. Our interception for Derek Carr. <laughs> Tannehill eats it, which might be the wise move there. Don't put any risk. And how about Brian Brzee, the rookie out of Clemson? Right. Finding with Pete Warner for and, the sack. And now I think he's got 11 picks earlier. Make him over the New Orleans guy. Tannehill lets loose. Knocked away and picked up. Into the hands of Marcus May. Yadam knocked it into the hands of May, the seventh year man out of Florida. And it's the second interception by the Saints defense. Ryan Tannehill taking a shot, throwing the ball up, trying to give his receiver a chance, but it was not complete. Pay down the field and he's looking, he's looking at a possible pass interference right there by Yadam. Picked off by Marcus right here, right here, here. <laughs> Carr examines that zone. Second launch gets it right in stride to Alave. Chris Alave, a second year receiver, pushed out of bounds by Bayard. The hesitation from Carr, but then he gunned it right to his target. You'll see right here the Saints are lined up in a bunch at the top of the screen. Alave just gets lost in all of that. Titans went zone, like I said before, that's off the board. Groupy from 52. Had an awesome preseason for New Orleans to earn the job for Will Lutz. It's through. Tied it not. They rush four on third down. Down the hills, driven back. Carl Granderson, the fifth year end at Wyoming, and it's fourth down. Granderson having a heck of a day. Let's watch him. He's over here. I think he's going to loop inside. Let's watch and see what Granderson does. He comes inside. It's a stunt again, and the Titans having trouble picking. Shop. You can see the tattoos on his arms. Australian. Jackson, the returner. He makes the catch at the 10, but is crunched. Tannehill to the near sidelines, that's hit! Third Tannehill interception! That's a Debo with the pick for New Orleans. Paulson the Debo outside with DeAndre Hopkins, one-on-one. -on -one. You'll see him right here. 
Those guys are going at a hand fight. And he's running a go route. Tannehill throws it up. Adebo just goes up and grabs it. Tannehill leaves the ball short and behind him. And just a good job by turning around and finding the ball and plucking it out of the sky. Jason, it looks like Tannehill thought it was going to be a back shoulder, back shoulder throw, yes. and Hopkins wasn't expecting it. That third and seven. Chris Olave at the bottom. Go, 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 go. 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 Watch this. Caught. Touchdown, New Orleans. Rashid Shahid cut it up the field and scores the game's first touchdown. Rashid Shahid, the big play guy. He's the guy that you want to give those routes that's going to get him down the field. We're going to watch him right here. He's coming in motion. He aligns right there. Watch the double move that he puts on. He gives him that little, like we said earlier, that little hesitation, making Bunting think that, hey, Murphy, Bunt, Murphy Bunting, that he's going to break it down and run a route at the sticks. It's so hard to cover on a third and seven because you have to respect that. And for those of you new to American football, that's called a touchdown. The first <laughs> one we've had in this game. It's worth six points. Blake Rupi converts the extra point. Saints lead by seven. Shahid can dance now. He fumbled earlier. But gets the game's first touchdown. All set up. Paulson Adebo picks off Tannehill. The third pick of the game for the Titans quarterback. And it's Shahid. Make sure he secures that one. Has to feel good for Carr. His first touchdown pass is a member of the Saints. It's New Orleans. On a first down inside the 30. Fake the reverse. Screen's knocked down by Cameron Jordan. We talked about it earlier. He does it all for this. They got the five. Tannehill. Nearly picks. Ugo Amati thought he had a beat on it. Hopkins, the intended receiver, it's fourth down for Tennessee. A really good job by Amati. Second down. Alave, first down. Fakes outside, comes back inside. Third down, pressure. Carr finds the escape now. It finds a target. Chris Alave. A slow start, but he's up to eight catches on nine targets. Chris Olave getting it done. He was the most targeted third down player for this team last year. And look how he sells this route. He's making it look like he's taking off across the field and at the drop of a dime sinks his hip and breaks out. And Carr doing a good job, like you said, of getting outside the pocket. They have to communicate and work through all the rubble. Multiple tight ends. First and run. Henry bottled up. Jordan and Davis. You don't get much more experience with a linebacker and defensive lineman duo. Watch Demario Davis. He is so smart. As soon as he sees the offensive line, well, he points over there. It's a run that way. He beats the right tackle, Hubbard to the spot. Demario Davis makes so many plays with his brain. He is able to see things. Sets up first and 10 from the 15. Spears in motion, but it's Henry who gets the game. And surrounded. Davis throws him down. Cornerback tackling Derek Henry one-on-one. -on -one. Loss of two. Second down. Derek nearly picks. He's already thrown three. Lattimore had an interception earlier. It's third down and long. Tannehill just hasn't looked comfortable today. Almost unsure of what he's looking at. A really good break by Marshawn Lattimore, but a player of his caliber, he's going to look back at that play and say, I got to have that one. Each team. So it's gone on third down. Down the sideline. Open receiver Shahid. Steps out of bounds. Doesn't like that but makes the Jets in a big chunk for New Orleans when they need it. When you see a ball like this going deep down the field, Shahid at the top of the screen, you're thinking, oh, he probably ran a double move. No double move there. Just flat out runs by Fulton on the sideline, and Derek Carr is fired up. That is when he came down for a touchdown. Yes. Throw down approach. Here's a handoff. Williams has the 
first down, and that's assaulted. The ball came out. Oh, yeah. I go back to this offseason as Carr launches that ball. Secures the Saints' week one win.